So about an hour has gone by and we've refreshed Cloudflare and we can see that now uh, blogchampions.com is fully active. So the next step in the process is for us to go back to GoDaddy and set up the WordPress site. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open a new tab and I can actually just go up here and mouse over this uh, blank parallelogram and click new tab. And I'm going to do a Google search for GoDaddy. Alternatively, you could just type in GoDaddy.com. In the upper right-hand corner, I see Sign In. And I'm going to say Sign In because I already have an account. We saved our password in Chrome, so it's all set to go. I'm going to click Sign In again. We're going to look at our Manage WordPress websites. I'm going to click Manage to the right of Manage WordPress websites. So now we've successfully logged into the GoDaddy Managed WordPress dashboard. Next, we need to get into the WordPress backend, or the dashboard it's called, where you can set up everything that has to do with your WordPress site. And in future videos, we're going to really dive in deep to how to use WordPress and how to customize it. But in this video, we just want to make sure that you can get in. So I'm going to click on WP Admin. Our Quick Start Wizard is the fastest way to build your website because it features pre-built websites for you to customize and publish, includes a drag and drop editor to make customization easy, and has thousands of categorized searchable engines in its image library. In this video, we're going to say no thanks because we're going to show you how to set it up ourselves. Are you sure you want to exit and configure WordPress on your own? Yes, we do. All right, and we're into the WordPress dashboard. So one more time, to log into your WordPress website with GoDaddy, all you need to do is log into the GoDaddy Manage WordPress dashboard and then click WP Admin.